So like I said, I do about four or five of these stretch and folds, as you can see, and every time you do it, your bread is going to rise even more and change its texture and shape. It really comes together and gets nice and bubbly and airy. And then at the very end of the night, I'll wet the little liner of my banneton basket so that the dough doesn't stick. I'll do a final shaping and then leave it in the banneton basket. Ideally, let it rise a little bit in there before popping it in the fridge. But this night I kind of ran out of time and I just put it straight in the fridge to bulk ferment and rise overnight. Well, I hope that this encouraged you to really get in the kitchen and make some sourdough bread. It does not have to be perfect, but if you follow the basic steps and principles, you can come up with some really great bread.